What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Source and welcome to another episode of Modify My Mercedes. In this episode it's going to be a quick one as I've received some dynamic indicator lights for my wing mirrors. So that is what we are going to change in this episode. So as always people make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when I upload any video you'll actually be notified. So let's rewind back and see what else we've done to this car. If you haven't seen my previous episode make sure you check out my All Source Mercedes. Mercedes Benz uh, playlist where you can find all the episodes of what I have done to this car including the rear spoiler the uh, front GTR grill and also wrapping the roof and the wing mirrors as well so in this video today uh, as the old wing mirrors are not uh, old wing mirror indicator they're not tinted these new ones not only they, they are tinted they also have the dynamic light which goes from left to right not only that there's a wire that connects to the floodlight um, and also once the floodlight is on that also gives it a dynamic look which I'll show you at the end of the video so that is what we are going to change today so make sure you check out my previous videos because I've, ha I've had problems with this car as well and all is explained in my Mercedes-Benz playlist so anyways let's get started with episode number four of Modify My Mercedes what's happening people here are the dynamic mirror turn signals as it says here so this is for a w205 model um we're gonna try and fit them to my car in this video today so i just thought i'd unbox them for you to show you what they're like let's see what else we get around the box so it's just actually supposed to be a picture of how they do but i'll give you a a proper uh, video of what they like when actually fit into the car so it's luxury look without the price so we're gonna find that out once we have fitted them so let's see what we get inside right so we have two mirror signals one for the left hand wing mirror and one for the right and they are tinted as well compared to the um ones that are on there now the original ones they're slightly tinted and these are fully tinted so this way here connects to the puddle light and when the puddle light comes on there's a like a lightish blue color um which actually comes on when the puddle light comes on so when the puddle light comes off that also goes off so i'll show you that later in the video today so all it is is just two clips that uh, you take the cover off on your um uh, wing mirror and there's two clips uh, two screws that you take off and then you just pry it out put this one in connect if you want to put a light um the dynamic light as well not just the indicator light if you want dynamic light that comes on with the puddle light then you connect this wire if you don't you don't need to connect this wire and that's about it so that's how easy it is to connect these uh, dynamic wing uh, indicator lights and also you get a prior tool so you can take off your wing mirror cover so that's what we get inside the box i'll give you a step-to-step uh, -step guide video on how i'm fitting these to the car so i hope you enjoy like i said check out my other videos on uh, my modify my mercedes because i've done a few modifications to the car so let's fit these to my car and see what they're like
there we have it that was episode number four on modify my mercedes what do you think let me know in the comment section below uh, take a look at what it looked like before because my uh, wing mirrors are wrapped in black that was episode number two um the unit the original unit wasn't tinted but now i put the dynamic unit on uh it just gives it that nice look as the dynamic unit was tinted so not only do we have the indicator lights um that are dynamic it also have the floodlights which give it a dynamic look as well and that's the wire that came out uh, which you connect to the floodlight inside of the unit and it gives it a dynamic look when the floodlight is on i'll show you on camera but uh, the color is different so when you look at it live it's a really nice blue color but when you're looking at it on camera it's just a bit more lighter no idea why but yeah let me know your thoughts um i was a bit skeptical on the floodlight uh, should i actually leave that on or just take it off all it is is a wire just pull it out and that's it the indicator lights will still stay on but the flood light will come off it's just a wire that just needs to be pulled off anyway but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below should i leave them on or should i uh, take them off or should i just take the complete unit off and put the original ones on your thoughts would be appreciated anyways let me know your thoughts again on what i should do next i've got a few ideas definitely need the wheels changing on this car and also i'm thinking to get it remapped because as you know this is a c200 diesel i think it needs a bit more power and with it being remapped it'll just give it that extra power that i need so yeah let me know your thoughts what else should i do i've got a few other ideas what i should do inside of the car because i've done a lot of work outside as well but yeah like i said make sure you check out my mercedes Mercedes Benz playlist and let me know what you think of the car after it's all done. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you again for another video.